Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am over here on Valguero with my Dino A Day review series, and we are on to the Paraceratherium. Now this this thing, well it's hard to say, Paraceratherium, but a lot of people just call them racers. Uh, these things are pretty much the most OP tame you can have when it comes to raiding things now, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. I'll show you why. Um, their big uses really are that, that ability to have a huge amount of health and um, have a platform saddle. And it's pretty much the only reason that people like these things. I have yet, I've never seen somebody use these for any other reason other than their platform saddle, or platform saddle and raiding. Um, just to show you, you can get some stupid, just, just stupid health on these things. Um, this is a wild tame, unimprinted, on anything, and I'm sure I'll get it easily to 50k, 60k. Um, mind you, this is like a max level. There you go, 56k. I've seen people have these into like the 100,000 range, um, so that's kind of, you know, unfair, especially on official. Uh, these things are probably well over 100k with really good saddles and lots of veggie cakes. It basically makes them unstoppable. Uh, that's something that, you know, is kind of unfortunate, but I guess, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever makes it fun for you. Um, so this is how you actually use these things. And a lot of people don't know this super well. I guess this is, it's a Dino A Day review series, but it kind of turned into a, um, a explaining how to raid with these things kind of video. So I'm going to go ahead and unclaim both of them because I'm going to leave the tribe. I've set up some turrets for us so I can show you how to counter these things and also how they are used effectively. And by that, I mean how they cheat into bases. Um, so, you know, that's just how it is. Now I'm going to have to leave my clan currently. Um, I should make sure the governance says that structure ownership is tribe owned. Update. Now I'll leave. Tribe of Teach. Works for me. Go ahead and claim these bad boys again. Um, you'll see they'll heal, they are healing up pretty quickly. Um, veggie cakes with them, if they have over 20k health, it does a portion of their health, which is just stupid unfair in my opinion. Um, but whatever. Could you please just move, sir? I don't like that you're right here. Thank you. Um, but anyways, how you do this is on a racer, you have the platform saddle. When you have a platform saddle, you can build on a platform saddle. A lot of people forget about this, um, but this is what you do. So, what? Excuse me, that was not cool. Um, basically, you place down a foundation like you see here. You go as far as you can, and you realize that you can't go that far anyways, so you kind of just stop it. So you can only go, oh my goodness, I hate when I get stuck inside these things head. Uh, before you do this, it's gonna be easier on yourself. Disable ally looking. Just, just don't cause that issue for yourself. Um, then on this last one, you're basically going to leave that there for a second. You can delete it if you want. You're going to put up a wall, another wall, another wall, another wall. If you really wanted to, and you feel inclined, you can go too high in a too tall box. And basically what you're doing, and whether people realize this or not, this is, in my opinion, this is like cheating. So I don't like this technique, but I don't like when people don't explain things to others. So that turret wall that we're going to run towards right now. Basically, I've got this giant box in front of me, and there's two things that I can do. One, I can use this guy to place a whole bunch of C4, and I'll show you the first way. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it this way. This is more of like a suicidal run. Actually, I'll do that second, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, with this wall, if someone, if you have soaked their base of their turrets that shoot tames, and you're only working on turrets that shoot players only, if you are inside this box, the turrets will not recognize that you are there. Um, and you get up to the wall, just so you can see inside the wall's mesh, like this. And then whistle passive, because that's just, you know, what we need to do right now. You can see the wall. Um, we're gonna go ahead and let him take some damage because apparently not all the turrets are drained yet. You put a whole bunch of C4 on this wall because you basically glitched into the base. Oh, I hate this method so much. This feels so wrong. Okay. Now, I'm in GCM mode, so I'm not going to take damage anyways. Um, but you can toss down as much C4 as you want. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just run backwards. You'll see all the turrets are going to start shooting me because I'm visible now. See that? I'm going to leave the range. 
and I'll show you how stupid this thing is. So we're gonna pretend that I, you know, soaked all that stuff. I'm gonna hop off, and they aren't targeting me. And then, that's how people raid nowadays. And I just think that is so stupid, in my opinion. It's not, it's not fun, like what's the point of that? Um, another thing that people do is you can place down any elongated thing from your, oh, it's not gonna let me place it, oh well. Um, and sometimes you can place down these things, so it's up to you. And you can just keep going back and forth to this wall. I'm going to go ahead and show you again. So we took out most of the turrets. <laughs> I'm going to try and aim towards this one right here, because now all of the turrets that are aimed at me are not of a concern. Um, you got to be careful about that, obviously. If you get a turret inside the box, it will shoot you. You can see that I'm inside their fortress again. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue to throw C4 down. Now, this is something that people have known about for a while. I don't know why platform saddles are still a thing, because this is really all they're used for. Um, but this is just, in my opinion, stupid, because you're basically making it so somebody's base defenses are useless. Um, so what, what's the value in that? And a lot of people are like, oh, dude, this is how you raid. Da, 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 da. Like, that's not how you raid. I don't care what people say. This is stupid. This is not something that is meant to happen with the game. You basically get a free box right here, just like this, and then that's just, you know, how it is, and people just want to say that's legitimate, and it's not. It's not legitimate. You're basically cheesing your way into somebody's hard-working base and hard work defense, and you're not taking any damage, so why don't they just do things like take racers and uh, Quetzal platform saddles out of the game? Because the fact that I can do that right there is just stupid. So, now there are a couple of ways to counter this, um, not too many. The best thing you can do for yourself is set up a whole bunch of turrets on ground level that are, well, just to show you, I'll show you what I mean, um, on ground level like you see right here. And if on the ground level you have them set to players and tames, uh, that is one of the best way to counter these racer pushes because racer pushes are basically aimed at taking out a lot of stuff at one time. If you spread your turrets out, that is a very, very strong way to prevent um, these things for being able to push you super well. Now, obviously, if you're offline, there's nothing you can do about a racer push, but if you're online, I'll go ahead and cheat GCM so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. If you place a whole bunch of turrets down, okay, you know what? Fine. Apparently, I can't carry this much. I don't care. Uh, down in an open field. You'll see in front of me there's an open field of turrets. And uh, this is the best way to counter these things, because all of these turrets are not, I mean, they're pretty close together, but they are all on players and teams only and spread out. So they will have to one by one get rid of these turrets instead of just taking out an entire wall. Um, so if you can spread your turrets out, not on structure, because structure is the weakest point of a turret. You can put them like up the walls, on the ground. You can kind of get them in the ceiling sometimes. Um, that's probably the best way to actually prevent a racer push like this. So you can see that because they're all on the ground, this thing will just, you know, shred me. Oh, there you go. And because they're all on the ground, um, they will take out players equ equally to taking out the tames themselves. Um, so that's kind of just how it works. Uh, that is the best way to probably counter these things, just because you're basically praying as much prevention as possible. Uh, other than that, there really isn't a way to stop racer pushes, um, because people will just cheese their way into your base. So, in my opinion, it's like a cheat. It's basically cheating. And people are aware of this method. So, uh, you notice that that racer, these are just auto turrets. Um, so if you had some heavies, you were... You get some tech turrets as well. Tech turrets do a good job of destroying the metal structure if you have them on uh, racers because the, that splash damage will destroy the metal structure. But again, if you have the metal structure protecting yourself, you can kind of do whatever you want inside of a racer push. Now, outside of their PvP purposes, yes, these do actually legitimately have a few things that they're pretty good at. I'm going to go ahead and demolish this box and show you. Um, there we go. They do gather berries, so if you use their normal attack, they're actually pretty good at it. Um, they do an AOE stomp, and that's the only thing they have. They do not have a secondary, they do not have a tertiary, they just have that stomp attack. Now that stomp attack is a very high damage output attack. So, for example, if I was to attack that thing, and it also does knockback, I forgot to mention that. So you do a whole bunch of base damage. This is on level, doing 166 damage to stomp. Plus, it got an, it's got a knockback of like, I don't know, 
10 feet ish so if anyone's trying to get close to you um and this knockback works on pretty much all creatures uh it's really hard to attack a racer because you can do that knockback attack as well so attack wise they're pretty strong um, they have a very high health pool i mean a wild tame with 56,000 health that's pretty crazy in my opinion and that ability to gather berries makes the racer a very 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 good overall tame it's something that can be used very effectively in many situations it's just unfortunately people have turned them into a overall raid only machine uh, so that's kind of just how it is they do get a little bit of wooden thatch nothing like super strong but uh berries they can gather pretty well as well so i'll go ahead and show you the wooden thatch gathering and it's not great nothing superb i mean the megalosaurus or the megaloceros does better thatch beaver and pretty much all the wood gatherers do better wood but berries it's still not the greatest either i'd still rather use probably a bronto tail swing but it's not a bad tame it's something that you could certainly use and justify using for these reasons and uh but i guess again it's a live birth because it's considered a mammal so that could be a little bit of a pain in the butt so this is the racer and hopefully this video helps you out teach out